What's up everybody, this is Kyrie here and comes with another video review. And today we're reviewing the WWE Elite Series 69, Sonya Deville. That's right, finally got my hands on this figure and I am super excited. Like I said, Sonya Deville is one of my favorite women's wrestlers on the women's roster. And if you saw my review from last week of the Elite Series 69 Ali, you heard me talk about that. A couple months ago I tried to pick up this figure as well as Ali at Target, but because of that because of that stupid glitch that was going on um, at the time, I was not able to purchase either one of those figures. But luckily, recently, I've been able to find both of them at Target, and I picked them both up. So, anyways, here she is. So when I picked her up, I went absolutely nuts, and I and since I got a Target gift card for for Christmas, I used it to buy this figure. So, bonus. Anyway, so here she is. All right, before taking the figure, so I put the packaging first. And he's first up, Elite Collection, Collection Edition, also has the Smackdown Live logo down there, which is pretty cool. Now there's one thing that is kind of weird about this. Right here it says, includes inter interchangeable hands, but as far as I can tell, I've looked at this figure from all angles, and I do not see any interchangeable hands at all. The only hands that are in this package are obviously the, figure, uh, the hands that are already on the figure. So, that's dumb. So... I don't know, maybe there's interchangeable hands hidden somewhere, but as far as I can tell, there is no interchangeable hands at all, which is dumb. Anyways, of course we have a picture of Sonya Deville in the outfit on the side, collected edition, SmackDown Live, uh, Sonya Deville, a red collection, and in the back we got a big picture of Sonya Deville right there, we got her stats, you can pause right there if you want to read, and her bio. You can there if you want to read. And since this is a kind of an exclusive, there's no other figures in the set. So it's so technically it's not from Elite 69. It's just a class edition figure, but it was released along with Elite 69. So that's why I consider this from Elite Series 69. Anyways, that's about it for the packaging. So let's open up Sonya Deville and see what we got. We'll be right All back. Right, so here we have Sonya Deville open up and out of the package. Now this figure is freaking amazing. Like I love the way this figure turned out. Mattel nailed this figure. And I was right. Even though the packaging says includes interchangeable hands, this figure does not come with interchangeable hands at all. The only accessory she comes with is the robe that she's wearing. Now I am a little scared to remove this robe because usually when they include cloth robes, especially the material they used on this, it leaves stains on the figure. So I'm hoping there's no stains on this figure. So I do wish that when they put this figure in the package, they would have put the robe off to the side. Like the figure here and then the robe like, like right here or something. But we'll see. Anyways, first up is the, her likeness. And this is a great likeness. It's pretty much the same head sculpt as the Basic Series 95, which hopefully I'll get that figure at some point and do a comparison to this one. Anyways, it's a great head scan. Looks a lot like her. Of course, got her ponytail. That's great. And you can put the hood uh, up if you want, or you can keep the hood down. Anyways, has her armband, this is SD. Has her wrist tape, and her tattoo. There, if I can get to focus. There we go. It's kind of like a squiggle design, I'm not sure what that means. And of course her black boots, and single jointed knees, unfortunately. Anyways, let's see if I can take this off. It should be easy. Now this is legit my first time taking it off. Like I just opened the figure, took it out of the package and got ready to start filming. There we go. There we go. Easy peasy. Came right off, excellent. And so far I don't see any stains on her. So, uh, she's, she's wearing her yellow outfit, which looks very nice. Detail is pretty nice, aside from that little blemish right there, but I think it's supposed to be like that. And she's also got her tattoo, a cross tattoo on her hip here. And another tattoo on her bicep. Has SD on the front. Nice detail, it's almost like a yellow camouflage, which is very nice.
Now for a little, now for a little comparison here. I'm sure everybody's going to want to see this, but here she is with her tag team partner from Absolution, as well as Fire and Desire, Mandy Rose. Now, also coming soon is the Elite Series 75 Mandy Rose, so we'll be able to pair that figure up with this one. So don't worry, I will get that figure at some point. Because this one is kind of not that good of a figure compared to it. So that's still cool that I have Absolution and Fire Desire. Anyways, articulation is pretty much what you would expect. Heck, you rotate 360. Uh, can't look down, can't look up. Arms sway rotate 360, they can go in and out. Rotate at the bicep, bend at the elbow, and swivel at the wrist. Has the upper torso joint that can move all over the place. Swivel waist, but her outfit kind of hinders it. Legs can go forward about that far and back to the original position. They can go in and out, but again, her outfit kind of hinders it. Swivel at the thigh. Single jointed knee. Swivel at the boot. And hinge at the ankle. And that's pretty much about it. So overall, this is a really excellent figure. Like, I absolutely love this figure. I actually like this figure a lot more than the basic, even though it's pretty much the same figure. The only difference is the color of the outfit, which I still want to get that figure at some point, uh, those figures at some point, the regular and chase. But this Elite is phenomenal. This is definitely the best Sony Deville figure they've made so far. And we'll see if they're able to top this one in the future, but we'll see. Anyway, so if you are a Sonya Deville fan, and if you can somehow, some way, find this figure at your local Target, or if you can get it for a good price on eBay, or Amazon or something, definitely pick it up if you can. It's an excellent figure. One of the best women figures I've ever seen. That was just fantastic. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to check out my, my next review, which will be Elite Series 73 Kyrie Sane. And, and and also, if you have this figure, let me know what you think of this figure as well, if you already have it. And also, be sure to follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links are down below. Check those out, and you can message me anytime you want. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys. Bye.